By far the most dangerous of those foods is sugar. And the reason why it's so dangerous is because if you look out in nature, you will not find a sugar tree anywhere. You won't find a sugar tree, a sugar bush, a sugar branch. You won't, it, it just doesn't exist. And so what happens is we have to pull it out of something. We have to pull sugars out of beets. We have to pull it out of cane. Or we manufacture it and call it high fructose corn syrup and, make, and it's synthetic. And so what happens is our body's primary fuel is sugar, but what we're putting in our body is not the way that our body was designed to it receive sugar. So when it comes in that way, unadulterated, and it comes in that way unattached to fiber, because when you look at it inside of fruits, for instance, fruits have fiber attached to sugar. So what happens when you eat it, you eat the sugar and it's like that grandfather who don't want to give up no money and he give you a quarter each time. <laughs> That's what happens in our blood. Like the sugar is being released slowly, which is healthy for you. It gives the insulin time to come grab it up, take it to the muscle and say, hey, you go inside of there, give the muscle some energy. But when you don't have that fiber there, it's like literally taking wads of money and like throwing it out in the blood. And the, the insulin is like, I don't know what to do with So that's why diabetes is so prevalent. And the unfortunate thing about sugar, and I talk about this in my book, I have a whole chapter dedicated to sugar, is that sugar is more addictive than cocaine and all the illicit drugs. And the other unfortunate thing is that sugar feeds cancer. And we know this because when somebody gets cancer one of the primary things we do when you come in we'll do a pet scan and a pet scan is like taking a cube of sugar and putting radiation dye on it and when they inject that into the body and it goes out into the blood and goes all over the body the tissue that is highlighted that is eating the most sugar is the cancerous Wow. Tissue. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why we do a PET scan. Because cancerous cells or tumors, they love sugar even more than our own body. And so it tells you what sugar is doing to us. So wow. that's one of the primary ways, unfortunately, you know, you can help yourself get away from cancer. But the unfortunate thing is sugar is ultimately in everything right. today. Sugar is even more or can be more addictive than cocaine. Yeah, in studies, they've shown this, they've proven it with rats. And so what they'll do is they'll give a rat two sides they can go to and choose. And they'll choose both. They'll try this one and then they'll try that one. And before you know it, like they are addicted to the sugar. And then when you take it away, they have the same effects that the rat would have had if they were addicted to cocaine. That's um, why everybody say that sweet tooth. But yeah. it's so benign when we say that. You're like, I got a sweet tooth. Like we say it real cool, but we don't understand what it's doing to our body. So yeah. it's not just cancer, it's yeah. the inflammation in your body. It ruins our gut, suppresses our immune system, causes us to have fatigue because what happens is the sugar high goes up right you get the energy yeah. and then what it does drops Trash. you absolutely yeah if sugar <laughs> right? if sugar is like cocaine then i'm just gonna stick to to the cheese but you know what's so interesting yeah cheese is sugar when they say you're lactose intolerant lactose is a sugar okay and not only that and cheese is even more dangerous than sugar because it has these compounds in it called casomorphines wow. it has the same opioid effect on the on the brain as morphine the drug Wow. So that's why people are even more addicted to cheese than they are sugar. And so if I hear you correctly, we should be avoiding cheese. We were not made to eat cheese. Yeah. Cheese is a byproduct of milk and specifically cow's milk. Now out in the animal kingdom, you will never see another animal drink another animal's milk. Yeah. Also in the animal kingdom, you will never see an adult cow or monkey drink milk at their infancy. Mm. Even if I offered milk to a cow, they will not drink it. It's it's crazy to them. But we're the only mammal in the world yeah. that actually drink and ingest liquid in both solid forms of milk after infancy. And we don't even have the enzymes to break that milk down. That's why 70% of the population is actually lactose intolerant.